Tretain. I promised you people that tonight justice would be served, and that justice is going to be the end of the iceberg. Hit the music. Elite, he is Paul Buchanan. Good Lord, Paul Buchanan. This is the justice that and Jim Billy has planned for Iceberg. His but instead, due to the machinations of Jeff G. Bailey, he unveils the latest member of the NWA elite. And it's a big one indeed. Paul Buchanan. I can't say Iceberg is particularly phased by his new opponent here tonight. Big swerve here by Bailey. He was building up the return of justice. And I, I don't understand why he's not here, but a hell of a replacement. Some would argue better. Bull Buchanan, a six foot eight inch badass. A man that began his career here in Wild Side. A man that appeared in the very first ever hardcore hell. He's got a history in Wild Side. And Iceberg has been preparing to wrestle Justice, now throwing this swerve of Bull Buchanan has to throw his game plan in an entirely different direction. But I dare say the no paint train is up for the task. Like how many people have been able to uh, send Iceberg uh, to the to the depths of defeat? That's a it's a short list indeed. It's a very short list, and I don't believe Bull Buchanan's name is not on it. And there you see on the tights of Iceberg, his tribute to his best friend, the late mysterious benefactor, who was a, a regular here on the independent wrestling scene in the state of Georgia, appeared briefly for Wildside in the year 2000, but uh, more importantly, the loss of his best friend, and that has deeply affected him, but he's moving on here, and he's dedicating this matchup tonight to the mysterious benefactor. Yeah, we miss you, Benny. And a forearm from Bull Buchanan. Rocking the former Wildside heavyweight champ. Oh, when two bulls collide, pun intended. Iceberg says, bring it on. I think so does Bull Buchanan. Shoulder tackle moves through Bull Buchanan. Now, quite obviously, Jeff G. Bailey knows a lot of the ins and outs of Iceberg. Now, uh, you would think Bailey has uh, passed some of those secrets on to Bull Buchanan here tonight. So, give Bull Buchanan a bit of an advantage. Oh, my. Boom! Big belly to belly suplex by the Iceberg as the very agile big man Buchanan came off with a double axe handle. Not exactly the move he wanted to try against the Iceberg. And thunderous chops from Iceberg on Bull Buchanan. He is rocking a forearm from the no pain train. Oh. And a noggin knocker. The fans here at the NWA Arena loving the Iceberg. Who the fuck it? Hey, anybody who's not working for Jeff G. Bailey is automatically a favorite, you know? Well, I think they always respected his ability. I certainly did especially for a big man. He's no doubt the best big man in the sport. And Bull Buchanan going after the legs of Iceberg, which is the best move possible. By taking Iceberg off his legs, his offense is certainly rendered uh, minimal at best. Don't think Iceberg is at his best in the guard position, unless he knows something I don't. Oh, my. Dropping that shin. Across the leg of Iceberg, and the no pain train is seemingly feeling some pain at the moment. And a round of applause from that weasel, Jeff G. Bailey, the man who keeps Alberto V05 in business after all these years. Buchanan slowly and methodically trying to take out the Iceberg, and with a man the size of the Iceberg, 
Definitely a veteran tactic, very smart maneuver by Buchanan. If you cannot stand, then you can't do those powerful moves the iceberg does. You can't carve them up. You can't be the being of inconceivable horror when you're lying flat on your back. And having to support 600 pounds makes for rather strong legs. But when those legs are weakened in the least, it's going to spell the end for the iceberg. So Buchanan right on the money with this strategy. And trying to wear down the big man is a big thing. A surprise pin on iceberg is highly unlikely indeed. Wearing the man down, going after the legs is definitely key. You, probably, you, can, you can possibly open him up, but blood loss, hell. Iceberg lost the most blood in his life. He's just so used to it. I think his system could withstand pretty much four pints of blood out of his body. Well, the fans here at the NWA Arena have seen the Iceberg in so many bloody battles to the finish. And whether it was by hook or by crook, the Iceberg gave it his all. And nine times oh out my. of ten, he came out on top. What a power slam by Buchanan. Carl Sleffer and Buchanan on the massive Iceberg using Iceberg's own momentum to Iceberg's disadvantage. Very clever strategy, very clever wrestling thinking on the part of the latest member of the NWA elite. And seemingly the, the power grid, the power struggle of NWA Wildside now with, with Steve Martin as NWA representative for NWA Wildside. Uh, things are beginning to tilt in, in a very unpromising issue. Oh my God, there's that damn shoe! Of ice. Oh, and oh dear. It only awoke the sleeping beast, but Buchanan got right back on that leg. Buchanan religiously sticking to that left leg of Iceberg. Perhaps gunning for the, the biggest rarity of all rarities, a concession from the altar of mutilation. Is it possible? Bull Buchanan thinks so. I'll bet you Jeff G. Bailey thinks so. I'm sure Wildside fans all over the United States are highly doubtful about that happening. But Bull Buchanan is going to give it his all. And hopefully Bailey will keep his shoes on for the rest of the match. Wouldn't that be a treat? The iceberg writhing in pain here. But he is the no pain train. And he will find that within him. If anybody will gut out some serious pain, it's always going to be the no-pain train. But Bulldog Buchanan, Bulldog, Bull Buchanan's offense has been right on the money here this evening. Too many animals involved here at Wildside. Unbelievable. Iceberg fighting back with some trust to the stomach of Bull Buchanan. Mercy! How does a man that big pull that off? Amazing agility by Buchanan hooking the leg. Iceberg kicks out. Yeah, just barely gets a shoulder, rolls a shoulder there. But still enough to eliminate the three count. And Bull Buchanan is going to have to go down to other tactics in order to finally put the shoulders of the altar mutilation down for a three count. Look at him trading blows here. You can't go for a German suplex. He could not connect. Iceberg, that's a close one. He connects. Billy the back suplex. But again, a lot of the wind has been taken out of the sails of the no pain train iceberg. But iceberg would like nothing to get in the way of finally taking the NWA elite and slowly taking up the park piece by piece. And by doing it tonight against the latest member, Bull Buchanan, as for his first on the list on the agenda of iceberg. Iceberg shoots him off, big clothesline. The no paint train is getting back in this thing. And Bull Buchanan is rocking. Iceberg. Boy, what a dangerous, dangerous man. I can certainly see what Jeff G. Bailey 
saw on this guy from the get-go. But I wonder if Iceberg's any more dangerous not being associated with Jeff G. Bailey. Oh no! Bull Buchanan drags Speedy Nelson in the way of the charging Iceberg! Oh Lord. Bill in the back suplex by Buchanan. Referee's been knocked probably unconscious. And Bull Buchanan looking for and finding a steel chair. Oh no! What a chair shot. Boy, Buchanan just clocked Iceberg. In comes Andrew Thomas. Great. And how convenient. Can we get, a, get Mike Posey for this? Who invited the junior? Oh, my God. Iceberg is bleeding buckets. Boy, that chair shot certainly left its mark. Oh, man, Iceberg's a mess. What? What, what kind of count out is that? What kind of count out is that? What the hell is that? The crowd not very happy, and neither is Iceberg. That's one of the most suspicious countout wins by Boop Buchanan and I have ever seen. Oh, get here. Here comes the rest of the NWA elite, Azrael and Rain Man. Your official decision for this match rendered by Andrew Thomas, your winner by countout. Oh no! Look, look at Jeff G. Bailey handing Azrael what we're assuming are the flames of hell. Oh dear! It's Alter Boy Luke! It's Alter Boy Luke! Looks like Buchanan caught a little bit of that. Split up on Rain Man by the Iceberg. How did Iceberg pull that one off after all the blood loss here? I have no earthly idea. And Altimore Luke of all people. The man who got burned by the flames of hell by Azrael is the one who thwarted the flames of hell this week here at Wildside version 5.0.